This week's murder of a firefighter and the suicide of the shooter, a fellow firefighter, has really put a spotlight on the mental health issue of first responders. NBC4's Kim Baldonado has a closer look now at a problem many are very reluctant to talk about. We are brave, strong, and dedicated to helping others. But those attributes also keep some firefighters from seeking help with mental health. I know that there's days when I've said to everybody else, I'm good. I'm totally good. I got this because I'm looking out for my crew. Dave Gelati is a Los Angeles County fire captain and president of the Firefighters Union, which pushed hard for funding for mental health resources in 2017. In 2017, we could not look away when suicide became the number one um, cause of death for firefighters over all other causes combined. Suicide rates and stress levels are high for first responders because they see more death and destruction than the rest of us and are reluctant to talk about it. We are working hard to break that stigma both from a personal point of view within the fire service family but also externally where it becomes normal for firefighters to reach out for help. The LA County Fire Department now has regular suicide prevention training and a strong peer support program. Peer support is simply a system of our peers with a higher level of training to connect us to understand the emotions, the impact of what we might be dealing with and how to deal with that. Although the precise motive for Tuesday's murder-suicide has not been determined, it's a sign for some in the department that much more needs to be done. Tools for proactive response. Um, I think are where we're going to be heading, and also indicators to watch uh, levels of stress and tools to deal with it. His hope is by talking openly about the issue, removing the stigma, and being proactive, the next generation of firefighters won't go through the grief the department is experiencing now. Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.